Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Some World 2 video. In today's one we are running the class 313 on the Glasgow Cathcart Circle uh, as a little sort of replacement, you know, maybe one of the 314s. Well, I don't, well the 314s are gone now realistically, but something's happened. They've had to bring up a uh, 313, they've had to refit it with a pantograph. Um, and yeah, it's up in Glasgow doing things in Glasgow. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're at Kafka at the moment. We're going to head to Glasgow Central, and I've just realised something. It would be a crime not to get it. There we go, look at that. Cool. I mean, that's, it does feel normal running the 3 on 3 on it, just because, well, this is obviously the usual stock on the Kafka circle to the 3 one 4 and there's not really, uh, yeah, there's not a big difference if you look at the two. So it almost does feel right to be doing it, but then it's not. Although, has a 313 actually ever been up here? Because obviously before they did have, you know, the AC power. Let's quickly pop that on. Uh, not the DSDs, I think that still is bugged. Uh, so that's forward. Let's get the door shut and let's get going. Cool. But yeah, somehow we're getting power. We've reinstated the pantograph <laughs> but anyway let's get going oh not into notch four straight away that is not a good start but yeah hopefully everyone's all well but have you tried this yourself and it actually almost does feel like we are driving a 314 at the moment as well there's not a big difference between the cabs I mean the 313 these ones are slightly more modern they feel a bit more sort of modern, the cabs, but I think that's because they got uh, refurbished in 2010 when they went to Southern. So probably before that, they probably were how you see it in the 314. Yeah, there's not a there's not a big, big difference. Horn is the same. And uh, quite a lot of other things are very similar. But you got to love to drive a pet. Brilliant. Look at that. Obviously it's got the dynamic uh, destination board as well, so that does change automatically depending on what route you're on. Although in future, I think they do want to get this system working here, where you can change the... Um, I think it's... What is it, this one? This one here. Yeah, this one here, where you can change the display manually as well. A bit like on the Brighton mainline, where you can either do it automatically, um, well, it does it automatically for you, or you can set it beforehand and then... Then, but then it does it. And it also feels weird to think it's been, I think, five months since this route come out. I mean, where's that time gone? I mean, yeah, that we did the, uh, what was it, eight hours on here? That long ago already. It's crazy. Here we are, welcome everyone aboard this Scott Rail service to Glasgow Central. Just imagine a pantograph is just there at the moment, it's getting the power from there. But it does it does sort of feel right though running it on here. It's not like one of those I mean yeah, some some videos we've done have been really sort of weird where we've ran a I don't know I'm trying to think kind of, of something we have done which has been really weird. I, I can't think off the top of my head, but we have done some weird things. I'm sure, chat, you'll probably know my videos better than me. Um, I almost feel like it's supposed to be like a subway here or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, running this on here, just, yeah, it almost feels like it's it's right. It's supposed to be here. I said, yeah, because it's a pair, very similar design. Obviously, all it is missing is the pantograph, which you'll see it used to have. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think Scott Rail did ever have any 313s, though. So, see, they got the 314s. And what is actually, and I'm I'm not very technical of these things. Pep, if you're watching, Pep BMU fan, or just anyone. What is actually the difference between a 313 and a 314? Obviously, from looks, they almost look identical. Um, 
I think it's just the motors, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's just the motors. It's been a while since I've been on this route. Always love coming back to it, though. Where we go? Oh, so yeah, we are doing this in... Why do I keep saying that? I know I, some people have mentioned it as well. I, I always say, obviously. It's like one of those words that I just always say. Like, obviously, you now we'll come in here now, obviously. I don't know. Anyway, here's uh, Cross Hill. So I do apologise if I keep saying obviously, and it's not actually that obvious. It's just one of those British ace words. <laughs> That wasn't the best of stops, but oh well. But yeah, it's just cross sound. Obviously, you've got the uh, Gaelic pronunciation as well. Sinoch and the Cloyce. Or maybe it's Kanak, I don't know. Kanak. Kanak and the Cloyce. Or Cloyce, I don't know. Does anyone actually speak Gaelic uh, who's watching? Because I don't think many people speak. Same with Welsh. I don't think many people do speak Welsh, sure. Okay, or at least, you know, uh, the majority of the people in Scotland, I don't think they do speak Scottish or Gaelic. I think it's more people sort of in the Highlands and sort of, you know. Glasgow Central. Well, I think in Wales they've actually made it compulsory for people at school to learn Welsh. It's probably, the, I suppose it's probably the same uh, up in Scotland. It's now maybe compulsory to learn Gaelic. Let's go. Up to 40. And it's Queen's Park next. There we go. Get a bit of whack on that. Yeah, all the stations are fairly close to one another on this route. And yeah, hopefully there's not some sort of... Because I noticed that on the uh, main Spess Up Barn video, for some reason, in some bits it looked a bit... Sort of, well, at least when I was rendering it, I don't know how it looked final. It looked a bit grainy at times, which was a bit weird. Um, so I don't know if that's one of the Streamlab settings or something. But hopefully it does look good. Hopefully it looks clear for you guys. So this is on the PS5, so should be running. Well, my game is running 60 FPS, and it should be recording at 60 FPS as well. So we shouldn't be having any any issues. There we are. There's another 314, and then it's Pollock Shields East next. I think. And you sort of get the uh, final bit into Glasgow. Your local links along the south coast. Oh, I do like the free on free livery, it's nice. Although a little bit biased, as well, it's sort of my area this, uh, this thing operates, my county. That's got all the places. I've been to all of these places here. And all of the ones up here as well. Right, let's go. Let's get a bit of outside action. Look at that. Cool. Our next station is Pollock Shields East, which is not far from here. Let's get back in the cab. There we go. Also, one other thing, I'm looking at other games to bring to the channel. Uh, obviously, I know we have got a fairly big roster at the moment of games, but there's not many what I can do for videos. So ETS, ATS, Flight Sim, um, 
they don't really do that well for videos. Uh, so I'm sort of looking at, you know, what are other options for games which would be suitable for just videos, not streams. Because some games, you know, are like streaming games. I wouldn't really make videos on them, like Flight Sim, ETS2 and ATS. I wouldn't really make videos for those games. Um, as you sort of need more time, you know, to, to, to play them. But yeah, if you have got any suggestions, do uh, pop them in the comments below. I can see what we can. Um, it won't be. I won't get it yet. But see what we can. Uh, see what we can find. Pollock Shields East. Now, someone. I think it was DM Lapa. He told us uh, quite a. That flower's flowing. An interesting story. Apparently, at Pollock Shields East, I think it was in 19. Oh, I think it was in the 40s or 50s. Apparently, there was some sort of uh, big murder what happened here at Pollock Shields East. So, um, yeah. Not, uh, not good at all. That was a little story. Yeah. Uh, Said in one of these streams by, yeah, I think it was the Malapa. But yeah, a little fact about Pollock Shields East. It's, uh, yeah. That happened. Let's go. Let's got the new signals as well on these ones. There we go. Yeah, so we did eight hours on this route. I think it was eight hours on this route um, was probably actually harder than doing nine hours on the BML. I think because on this route, so each journey is 20, 25 minutes. So it was sort of, what, 16 odd journeys? Obviously, on the BML, it's about an hour for a journey. So we sort of had to. I don't know, sort of do less in a way to fill the time. Yeah, I don't know if I could do eight hours on this one again. It was it was tough. And you got the West Coast Main Line what joins up here. And I have actually got this section on train simulator into Glasgow Central. So at some point I'll do a video where we go from Glasgow Central over this way to Newton. And we can sort of see what is uh, what is that way. Well, a new article was just released as well. So where's as I'm recording a video about the Vosilo G6? Apparently, it's coming December the second. So yeah, just to, that's well, that's a couple. Let's wait for a couple of weeks until December. Where's that time gone? So yeah, you probably would have seen that video. You can probably tell when I'm recording this video. Let's see. Let's have a look. Uh, where is it? Was a legend. New screenshots as well. Awesome. Yeah, final approach now into uh, into Glasgow. Oh, that's quite cool artwork for it. But yeah, uh, G6 is actually going to be for Ryan Rot Austin. Also running between uh, Wuppertal and Hagen, that route. Oh, well, you can open up the panel and everything on it. So I'm just looking. I'm just looking at screenshots. I know you can't see it on the screen. I'm just looking at screenshots of the uh, G6, which have just been released. Obviously, some more screenshots. Looks, uh, looks lovely. Yeah, looking forward to that. I'll see a slightly different German locomotive, not in DB Red as every every other one, pretty much. So that got that green and grey to it. It's cool. Yeah, December the second. So write that down in your in your diaries, calendars, whatever. 
Going over the River Clyde, I think this one is. As we come into Glasgow Central. But yeah, enjoyed that run. I think that was around 15 minutes or so. But yeah, I always thought Glasgow Queen Street. I always thought that was like the main station. I always thought Glasgow Central was sort of the, well, lesser used station. Uh, but no, apparently this is the sort of main station in Glasgow for, you know, the West Coast mainland and all that. Well, that's not the biggest of stations, though. It's a fairly big station, but not, yeah, not the biggest. Let's uh, bring that down. But yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed. Obviously, do leave a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe if you do want to see more. Obviously, all does uh, all does help out. Yeah, that's been that's been good. But yeah, not many collectibles I've got on this. I haven't been on it much on the uh, next gen version. But yeah, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's uh, Train Some World 2 video. Hopefully, everyone did enjoy it. Obviously, you will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Obviously, do pop any feedback below in the comments. But apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.